Hey guys, welcome back to Hayes Tech. Today we're going to be talking about how I made an old laptop run like new without breaking the bank. My brother bought his laptop more than five years ago when he first started college, and it served him pretty well for a while, but it started to slow down recently. So I thought we'd give him a bit of an upgrade by increasing his RAM from 8 gigs to 16 and switching him over from a hard drive to an SSD. A hard drive, much like records before it, use a disk to store information and an arm to retrieve that information. So when you're trying to load up a program or a file, that arm has to physically move to that section of the disk to read it and present you with what you requested. And in the terms of computers, this can take forever. This is where SSDs come in. SSDs store information electronically, which means they can be accessed instantly, making programs load way faster. The other upgrade we'll be making is RAM or random access memory. This is the short term, really fast memory of your computer. We'll be going from eight to 16 gigs in my brother's computer, but for most people, you can just skip this step because the RAM already in your computer is more than enough for most programs. My brother, however, is an engineer and can really make use of that extra memory. The first step is to just get into the laptop, which in this case is really easy with just two screws and a couple of clips. Now that we're in the computer, you'll notice a silver rectangle with white labels. That is our hard drive and the first component that we're going to be removing. Removing the hard drive is pretty simple with only four screws and a cable holding it in. You want to be careful with this cable because if you break it, you're kind of SOL at that point. Next up is RAM. This is pretty simple to remove simply by taking these metal tabs and pushing out on them. This will release the tension on the RAM, lifting them up so that you can pull them right out with no problem. Now that we're ready to install the new RAM, you'll notice a little slot on the RAM and a little key on the port on the motherboard. Make sure that these align, otherwise you won't be able to insert your RAM. Once you have the RAM seated, you'll then want to press down firmly on the corners where you'll hear a snap. This means the RAM is locked in place. The next step is to copy data over to your new SSD. I accomplish this with what I call a hard drive toaster because it looks like a toaster when the hard drives are sticking inside of it. All this simply does is clone the information byte for byte from the old hard drive to the new one. Activation differs from device to device, but in this case, you hold down the button for three seconds, wait for the light to come on, and press it again. Now that the data is copied over to our new SSD, we can reinstall it by first connecting the cable and then screwing it back in place. In the description, you'll find Amazon links to all of the tools and products that I used in this upgrade. Not all laptops are created equal, and some may not be as upgradable as this one, so it's important that before you make any purchases, you check the upgradability of your laptop. I had a ton of fun working on that project and I've got a bunch more coming. So if you like that video, hit that like button, get subscribed and ring the bell for notifications so you stay updated on future videos. If you've got an idea for what you wanna see next or you just wanna say hi, drop it in a comment down below. I love seeing those. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.